Assalamualaikum and good morning. My name is Aina Rida Nabi Tahim, matrix number B0902 nitrate. I'm from 3BMMA S21. So, for introduction of this topic, a form of a car suspension system known as a semi active suspension regulates to the shock absorber damping force in response to the input from the constantly changing road surface. The implementation of semi-active suspension is possible using several control approaches. One commonly used standard technologies is skyhook control. For first topic general number one is damping control in suspension system. The methodology of this journal is First, the simultaneous improvement in the range of comfort and handling was constrained by a constant parameter of a damping and shock absorber. It was feasible to design a vehicle with very good handling but uncomfortable, example like a sports car. Number two, the sophisticated issue is complicated due to a change of the promise in the dependence of current vehicle loads. Last one, according to mentioned semi-active suspension and merits active suspension drawbacks, authors of this paper focus on the first type, which is semi-active suspension system. It seems that nowadays, such suspension have a greater potential to achieve popularity among vehicles of a different than luxurious class. For result of this journal number one, which is semi-active suspension have gained a lot of attention thanks to the controllable parameter that can be adjusted, adjusted in real time. Temple for tracking control strategy has been developed based on fit forward or feedback linear or non-linear models. This solution demand a current damper force or complex damper model. The proposed strategy of damping control seems to be an interesting idea because of its simplicity and no need of noticeable additional energy to drive any pump or accessory electric motor. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nora Tiramiti Ismail. My metric number is B092010091. The journal that I choose is about the component of semi-active suspension system. The suspension system of the vehicle is designed to separate it from the imperfection in the road while enhancing its road holding abilities. The investigation of control suspension system, both active and semi-active, has been prompted by the constraint of passive suspension to enhance right comfort and road holding together. In comparison to active system, semi-active method can unconscious Nably provide less expensive suspension control solution. The semi-active damper, serration sensor, right head sensor and controller make up the group, the bulk of the semi-active suspension system. The result in this journal is about semi-active damper. Semi-active dampers are hydromechanical control mechanism that can change how much energy they release while drawing only a little amount of power. As an illustration, the hydraulic dampers are made which control force proportional to velocity. This device increases the range of dampening properties that can be obtained from a standard passive damper. Next, selenite or servo valve damper. Servo valve can be substituted by selenite valve. Why servo valve respond more quickly and precisely than selenite valve? Servo valve are significantly more expensive. The design of a selenite valve is far simpler than that of a servo valve, and as it may be produced in house, it has the added advantage of allowing the optimization of the valve force through engineering packaging for the application. 
In two arteries that damper, selenite above have also been utilized it to switch between hard damping and soft damping characteristic by opening or closing bypass valve. When the proper control strategies are applied, these dampers have improved ride quality. Then, MR and ER damper. The hydraulic cylinder containing micron sized polarizable particles in NMR or ER fluids makes up an MR or ER damper, usually oil. Non Newtonian fluids like MR and ER change their characteristic when exposed to magnetic or electric field. By aligning in chain like patterns along the flux lines of a magnetic or electrical field, micron sized iron particles suspended in a carrier fluid, water, petroleum based oil, or silicon based oil, alter the radiological characteristic of the fluid. When subjected to a magnetic or electric field, both MR and ER materials have the capability to transform from freely flowing viscous fluids to a semi solid state in a matter millisecond. As MR and ER dampers don't have any moving parts, they are mechanically reliable. My name is Ibn Wafa and I will continue with the PowerPoint presentation which is about my finger. This is the title is Control of a New Low Cost Semi-Active Vehicle Suspension Using Artificial Nuclear Network. Oh, there are several methodologies that are used in this sector. The first one is about uh, using a high hydraulic power speaker with a professional throttle bar. Outside of the the cylinder, the third or what is the opposite expensive MR damper. For this methodology, this method used to choke the flow and dissipate the kinetic energy transmitted from the road to the oil inside the damper. Then the artificial neutral network implemented is three uh, based on the data. For the proposed new suspension system control using the ID controller. Different inputs are used to acquire data from a controller, which is uh, in order to train the next methodology is uh, quantica mathematical model. So it's an uh, ordinary hydraulic cylinder with a total value of the explicit basically outside the cylinder between the cylinders two part which is throat and face port then as the cylinder moves up and down due to the road excitement the cylinder's piston pushes the oil to move the between the cylinder's two chambers chambers to an external tube into the throttle valve the last one is the about control energy control strategy the artificial neutral network uh, with this method, the damping coefficient the damper is changed by changing the opening area of the throttle valve and then the changing the opening area has a great effect of, on the performance of the suspension system and after all this method, the result is become the semi active suspension system with a much cheaper and simpler alternative for mid-size passenger cars and damper with higher possibility in larger vehicles like coaches, lorries, and railway trains with simple maintenance routine. Then the performance of the proposed local suspension system can be enhanced by varying, varying the opening area of the above. And then uh, the semi active suspension system is easily constructed compared with commercially available magneto, rheological, and other system. The last one. The performance of the proper system can be enhanced by the training of the AM controller using more fast controllers strategy. Yes. Hello sir, good afternoon. I'm meeting you for us. B0920104. My name is Shasiwan Anaki Sundarajan. Uh, my journal is Adjustable Valve semi active Suspension System for the Passenger Car. It is general form. For the for my general methodology is develop electron, electronically adjustable semi-active shock example. Uh, 
for the absorber, attach a stepper motor for each shock absorber which help in adjust, adjusting the bleed or orifice or to a certain position that alternates the hydraulic oil flow through the shock absorber between the piston's chamber during the during the process of the compression and rebound. Analysis of, analysis of the electronic control temper. Tip of the temper used houses the standard internal piston. The piston of the temper was connected to the rod that goes to the rebound chamber and out of the bottom of the tube. The two, two chambers were connected to the bypass valve which is controlled by a stepper motor. When in comparison, the fluid flows through the flow parts through the internal piston and external bypass valve. The result, the experiment and design. The prototype was built and a road test was performed to obtain the result in terms of acceleration in both of translation and rotational versus versus time. Road tests are more easily performed with the help of user-friendly interface, interface, interface in a handled device. The test conduct in three types of routes, bumpy roads, roundabout and a straight road. The driving speed of the vehicles are differ based on the road condition, 25 km per hour, 40 km per hour and 80 km per hour. The acceleration analysis, the time domain response of acceleration in translation motion x and y, x, y and z were performed, were performed. The damping ratio is adjusted for the softest to hardness and categorized. The main objective of this research was to develop an electronic controllable semi-active prototype and see if the response obtained was any different with, with each adjustment whether they they will be at user user specs or transition when the damper adjusts to to a software and harder level. Based on this testing, there are changes in acceleration were obtained is lower than the comp comp comparable state and art semi active damper. There is a great change in response when the bypass code fully open and fully close. The conclusion. Finally, by selecting four genres, we may learn more about the semi-active suspension system. Furthermore, we are aware that a semi-active suspension system improves road handling in ad additional to comfort and stable the vehicle movement. For the both tra tra traditional control like the sky hook and the ground hook, and the contemporary control like optimum control and fusing logic, semi-active suspension control is, the still, is still being in investigated. High non-linear challenges challenging to accurately mimic the highly arbitrary control improvement. The semi-active suspension control problem require control that to the to strike a balance between qualities for the right safety and the passenger comfort. Thank you very much.